everyone welcome back to mostly mommy and today i'm going to be doing a little bit of a product review and showing you kind of how i bathe jedi how it's been working and some of the things that i find convenient we've been bathing jedi in the sink and this bathtub right here was actually a gift from our baby registry and i'll show you why i chose it and why i love it so far. First, I start off by turning on the temperature and then I start running the faucet. And you gotta make sure it's right there because this is the sensor right here that detects the temperature of the water. And so far it's too cold because it's blue. Once it hits green, that means it's comfortable for the Jedi. But red means hot. We do not want that. So it looks like I could maybe move it a little warmer. Let's see. The temperature is going up. Okay. Green is good. And this little triangle is on the second one. Oh, yeah. We want it right in the middle. We want it right there. Hopefully it stays. I think that's good. That's perfect. It's staying. So now what I can do is plug this right down here so the water will stay. And that's going to fill up. And I'll use this little cup. And just kind of bring some water from there and bathe right there. And I love this right here because this is clean water. And then once you're bathing her, you can actually let the dirty water run out, which is nice. And this padding right here is warm and very comfortable. I like that. And if you want, you can also plug it and let the tub fill. Like so. And it's filling up. And I just got these little scalp brushes. I'm not sure which one is better, so I'm going to try both, but I can leave a link below to where I got these as well. I like this one because it feels like you can get a lot of soap in there, and it says you can scrub the little feet and hands with it, and then right up here is for the scalp. So far, so good. Still on the green. And there is the bathtub. Next, I'll go ahead and show you what I bring downstairs. This is my little kit right here. And I have lotion. I have some, uh-oh. Too warm. That's what happens when it's too hot. I really like this because you can always tell if the water is just perfect or too hot or too cold. And you can also fill it up like this and kind of make it a little spa. And here are the little feet. So the little feet go right here. Very nice. This is my little kit, which I love because you can take it anywhere. If you want to bathe it upstairs, downstairs, it's really nice. And inside I have lotion. I have some body wash and some shampoo. I also have some Vaseline just in case I need it. Over here I have some baby powder, some rash um, ointment, a few cloths to bathe her, and then some diapers of course. Oh, I also have an emergency binky right in here. You never know when you'll need it. Might move this over here. So this right here is how I bathe Jedi. It's a pretty easy process. So this is how I bathe Jedi. It's a pretty easy process because I have everything I need right here. And I also have this cute little white robe for her. Isn't that adorable? It's still a little big for her. So instead, we've been using this hooded towel, which works and it keeps her warm right after the bath. Don't worry, Wicket. Maybe one day I'll bathe you in this tub. I think you'll like it. 